So Eric, what, what have been the key challenges for the design team over the winter and, and how has it dealt with those? Well, the usual challenge, uh, it's like every winter, 93% of the car is brand new. Uh, but obviously this year we had another uh, challenge, which was the uh, integration of the new Renault Power unit, uh, which, which has a different layout compared with the Honda engine. And that partnership with Renault, how, how confident are you that it will, it will be a success? You know, it's a bit like... Uh, when you see the driver of, uh, after the first lap, when you saw Fernando this morning, you know, with a big smile on his face. Uh, if you wait after the first meeting when you met your new partner and you just watch your engineers and, and if they are smiling and are eager to, and, and to work or demanding, uh, that means you click something good. A year ago, it was a, a very different situation you were dealing with. How optimistic are you 12 months on that, that things would be very different for you this year? <laughs> you have to be optimistic always, but uh, realistic in the same time. So there is a, a challenge. Uh, the competitor level is quite high, so obviously there will be a lot of fight on track. Uh, it's a new relationship we are entering in with Renault. Uh, so we have a lot to come, and, uh, and I think there will be a lot more to come in the future. Uh, it's a new story, and we also have now been through another step in the car development and the car design uh, so I think everything everything we are I don't be, I don't think we have tr left any stone unturned but uh, try to do the best uh, the best to to be better and it's gonna be just the uh, best to come in terms of the technical regulations they're relatively stable but halo has come in amongst other minor tweaks uh, how has that been to to put on the car, what sort of challenges that presented? Well, the halo obviously, first challenge was the weight, and the second challenge was the distraction, I would say, in the airflow around the car. So, a lot of a lot of a loss uh, in performance regarding the aero. Uh, so, we had to recover this, and that's been uh, the main target over the winter. And in terms of the, the general direction in which the sport is headed, uh, are you optimistic about that? I think it's. Uh, the, the sport is going, from what I hear, is going to the right direction. I mean, it's it's going to be a different Formula One in the future. Uh, definitely, the fans are more listened and will be more listened uh, in the future. So, I think the sport is heading in the right direction. We still have to see the, let's say, the final calls. In terms of Fernando Alonso and and his mindset compared to maybe a year ago, uh, he seems very happy, he's got a smile on his face, he's got a lot on his plate this year as well, but is that the, the best way for Fernando Alonso to be? This is the best way for Fernando to be. I mean, first to see him smiling this morning, it's obviously the best reward we can have after a long, a long, a long winter. Um, and I know he, the more busy he is, uh, the best fit he is, and, and the more eager to win he will be. And Stoffel, his teammate is someone of course that you know very well and have for a long time it's an important year for him um, are you looking forward to see now that he has a more reliable package I suppose just how well he can do yeah because he he will be able now straight out of the box to do all the laps uh, hopefully he needs also to build his own confidence and his own experience uh, and I think he will deliver what we expected from him and I think we have a best driver pair on the, in the pit lane, so let's see now 2019. 17th season in Formula One, does it still give you as much of a thrill and motivation as ever? And what are you most looking forward to about the year ahead? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Every season is uh, it's the same feeling. You always have uh, some, uh, some hopes and some uh, you know, new motivations that every winter renews a little bit. So. This year is no different. I think uh, even more because for us it's a it's a very important season. Uh, we went back to the uh, orange papaya. You know, we, we look at the past to, to at the same time look at the future, and uh, and I think uh, the whole team is very motivated, very happy to start this new season. You've seen the, the MCL 33 up close now. What what are your first impressions? It's, it's, really looking, it's looking good. I think uh, you never know until you put the car on the track and, uh, and then you compare with. Uh, with the others, but uh, so far I think the um, the things we did in the car were the, the right ones uh, from from 
last year, obviously, we took a, a brave decision on, on the Renault chain, so that uh, has some implications in the, in the rear end of the car. So I think uh, everyone in the team was doing their job. Uh, all the boxes, they have the tick now, and, uh, you know, I think we are ready. Uh, if we are fast or not, we will find out, but uh, I think uh, everyone in the team did his job uh, at, at his best uh, until this point. So. I'm, I'm very happy, very proud. You've touched on it a little bit, but it's, it's 50 years since McLaren first ran in this papaya orange. How does it feel to see the, the famous colour come back again? And can the team tap into tradition? I think it's great. I think, first of all, uh, the team, uh, we're listening to, to our fans, you know, from Indianapolis especially. Uh, people were asking about uh, this papaya orange to, to come back to the team. Uh, so I think the, the team was, was quite happy to, to listen to the fans, first of all. And then, uh, yeah, I think it's an important moment for McLaren, you know. Uh, after a couple of years not winning the, the championship or not fighting for the championship, it's, it's time to, to come back to that position. And, uh, you know, from that, I think the team went back to, to history, went back to to his uh, really DNA, and uh, um, from that point we will move on. So I'm happy and I'm proud to be part of this project. We now see a properly integrated halo on the car. Uh, you've seen half a dozen cars sport it now. What do you think? Uh, obviously, aesthetics uh, are quite, are quite uh, probably we can improve that uh, in the future, but uh, you know, as, as we, we chat, we chat, and um, we touched last year. Uh, it's a safety device, so um, as long as uh, safety is involved, I think we should not should not be any debate on that, you know, because it's a, a, a priority. Uh, I think uh, to work a little bit on the aesthetics for, for the following years will be important as well to, to make the fans also happy and the, to, to make the car also attractive, but uh, so far I think it's, it's a device that protects the, the head of the driver, so it's, it's very welcome. Of course, this is a key development phase. How will you work together with, with Stoffel? to push the car on? Uh, very closely. I think uh, this, this winter testing uh, is crucial for the team. Uh, we are uh, preparing the car as its best. We are trying different things, different concepts, different setup uh, directions. And uh, we need, you know, to be one thing. We need to be two drivers in the car, one each day, but at the same time, you know, uh, try to take the program from, from what they did the day before and uh, start from that on. So, I think uh, Stoffel, myself, the two group of the engineers, they, they need to work very close. We did last year. Um, I think we had the experience of the last three years. We, we are struggling a lot, so I think we create a relationship and a team uh, uh, harmony that I think not many teams have now. So I think that could be our strongest point this year. To Stoffel, after a three-month break, how do you look back at last season? What were the high points? And what do you take away from your first year at McLaren? Yeah, last year was uh, probably not the year we were kind of expecting as a, as a team. Obviously, started off very difficult. We made some, some good progress through the season. I think from a personal point of view, uh, it was a you know, tough start for myself. But then, then you know, very good progress through the year. And I think you know, near the end of the year, matching, uh, matching Fernando and, and playing a very lowest level field with him, that was, uh, that was, uh, was very good. So. Yeah, now three months on, I had a, had a very good winter behind me, a lot of, uh, a lot of preparation work and I really feel you know, much more comfortable as well with, uh, with all that experience behind me. I know, you know straight from the word go where to, where to start from and yeah, I'm ready to, uh, to attack this season. Talking about how that, that first year better equips you for this year, do you understand even a little bit more the, the physical and mental requirements uh, for Formula 1? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you just have that year of, of baggage with you, let's say, you know, like going to all the circuits, uh, dealing with the team, uh, knowing exactly what, you know, what they expect from you, how to operate within, within a Formula 1 weekend. And, you know, it's, it's things I've been, been through now. So, uh, yeah, it'll definitely help me a lot this season to, to, uh, to start off from the word go. You can see it over your shoulder there, but what do you think about the new car? What are your initial impressions of it? I think it looks uh, it looks great. Obviously, again, a big change for the team over winter with uh, the change to the Renault Renault engine. And yeah, I think uh, everyone's massively looking forward. There's a big buzz around the factory. Uh, today is obviously a very special day to uh, you know to reveal those uh, those colors. Looking looking back at uh, you know, Bruce's identity. This this really is is the McLaren identity. So uh, we're all looking forward to that. And and today is going to be a special day to take the car out on track. And how is life with Fernando, and could you explain how you work together 
particularly at this time of the year, to develop the car? Oh, it's, it's very good, you know, we have a very good relationship. Obviously, uh, you know, Fernando, 17 years of Formula 1 experience, and, and this is a very crucial point of the season as well, because it's, you know, at the moment the, the car is going to start hitting the circuit, we've got to feed all the information, everything we feel about the car back to, back to the factory, and, and you know, there is, there is a very short gap between testing and, and, and race one, so if there's any issues, they, you know, the team needs to be on top of them pretty quickly.